So today I want to talk about something that seems to create a lot of controversy in the retro community. Since I'm finally getting to work on my Amiga 3000 very soon, I figure this is a good time to talk about something that I'm going to have to deal with a lot when it comes to this machine. And what I'm talking about is the proper way to remove capacitors from a motherboard, specifically surface mount capacitors. Now, there's just so many people get into flame wars over this. And I see people arguing about the twist method, the tweezer method, the Lorena Bobbitt method. Yeah, it's a thing. And this method works well, it's cost effective, and it's very quick. In fact, if done correctly, this method can actually make you a little money. So the tools you're going to need. First thing you're going to need is a monofilament line. Now in this case, I am using a 15 pound test fishing line, which should work perfectly adequately for this. In addition to that, there's a couple things you may need. Depending upon your layout, and we'll get to that later, the situation, you may need something to use as padding. In this case, I'm just using some of my shop towels. You also may or probably will need an anti-static bag. And finally, the last thing you're gonna need is some kind of a clamping system. In this case, I'm just gonna use these clamps that are used with my camera gear, but there's a lot of options, and you could even use a good heavy rope for this if you want to. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using this old SE30 motherboard, and you may remember this one from the WD-40 experiment, which didn't work out. So this board is toast, but there's still a lot of ICs on here that are good for parts, so I don't wanna damage it. So, what I've done is, taken some fishing line, I've tied basically a hangman's noose in it, and standard fishing knot. This doesn't make a very well formed one because this is 15 pound line, so it's just fairly heavy. So once you have the loop in the line, you can put it over the cap, and you can do this with your fingers, but I'm going to do it with tweezers so you can see what I'm doing. And then once you have it in position, you just tighten that noose up right around that evildoer's neck. And there you go. We're now ready to proceed to step two. Earlier I mentioned that you need to make sure you have the right things for your situation. And here's where that comes in. You're going to need a flat surface to attach the motherboard to. In this case, I'm using a chair in my shop, and the problem with this chair, as you can see, is it's not flat. It doesn't match the shape of the board. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this anti-static bag, and I'm going to add some of the shop towels as padding. So now, when I attach this, it'll give me a good surface to secure the board to, and I don't have to worry about damaging it. So now, I can take the board, I can attach it right about there. Now, you want to be real careful with the clamps. You don't want to damage the board. If you feel more comfortable, get a good heavy rope and just wrap it around. In this case, it looks to me like this is a good clamping surface on this connector here. And then I've got a second good surface right there. So that is nice and secure and it's not going to get damaged at all. So now for the next step. Be right back. Okay, so one thing you're going to need to do once you have a loop in your line is measure off about three to four feet of line, and then tie a loop in the end. The size doesn't really matter too much. It depends upon how you're going to attach this, which we're going to take a look at right now. Now we've got our board attached to our surface. We have our line attached and measured out. So what we need to do is draw the line out and open the door, attach this over the knob, and then, bada bing, bada boom, no more cap. <laughs> 
Ha! Works great, doesn't it? Now don't go yet, because I'll show you how to use this trick to actually make a little money. I did say there was a way to make money with this, and here's this one simple trick. So what you want to do is, before you go to bed that night, pull back your pillow and place the capacitor under your pillow. Put your pillow over it, and you're ready to sleep the night. Okay. Well, it's the next morning, so let's see how we did. Oh, look at look at that. Well, I, you know, I was expecting some cash, but... Or arcade tokens? That'll do. That'll do. I'm sure there are some people out there who are streaming and screaming because, oh my God, he just pulled a cap and just ripped it off of this board. And even though this board is toast beyond my ability to save, you know, there's no need to treat it like that. So, of course, I didn't actually rip a soldered on cap. So, cap. A little tiny wad of blue tack and there it is all set up and ready to fool you because you're so fooled yeah right wait april yeah something like that 